with air channels to let wounds breathe. Only from Band-Aid brand. More and more Canadians are considering the idea of delaying retirement, according to a new poll. 60% of those polled by Sun Life Financial said they do expect to work past the age of 65. Respondents also said they believe they need to work longer to earn enough money to pay for living expenses. They added they're worried that government pensions won't be enough for them to live on. Sun Life has been conducting this poll for seven years. Now, the company's president says the results have changed since they started polling that time ago. When we first started doing this, um, you know, maybe 55% of people thought they'd be fully retired and something like 16 thought they would be working full-time and that 16 percent thought they'd be working full-time the number one reason was because they like to and for personal fulfillment and number five on that list was to cover basic living expenses if you look at today's survey the number one reason that people think they'll be working at age 66 is to cover basic living expenses Joining us now from Mississauga, Ontario, west of Toronto, is Jonathan Chevro, personal finance expert. Uh, Jonathan, thanks for joining us. Uh, let me ask you a quick question here. Canadians are saying they don't think they have enough money to last through their retirement, we're living longer, that kind of thing. But what are the other reasons we're coming up short? Well, uh, in the old days, uh, our, the, the parents of the baby boomers had to find benefit pension plans, and they tended to stick with one employer, it might be the government or a teacher, something like that, for 30 years. And if you get 2% uh, per year, uh, you'd end up with 30 years, you'd have uh, at least 60% replacing your, uh, your salary that you enjoyed all those years. Nowadays, people change jobs, and even if they do stay at a particular company, they tend to have defined contribution plans that rise and fall with the markets. It's interesting that the Sun Life survey began right at the beginning of the financial crisis in 2009, just as the market was starting to uh, come off the bottom. So did the results surprise you? Uh, not really. Uh, I mean, I have a whole site, Financial Independence Hub, which is dedicated to the proposition that we're all going to live a lot longer than we think. Certainly, the, the baby boomers are, are seeing that already, but the children of the boomers, the millennials, we all, and, and this age 66, it's, it's not a big problem. Remember that the government has already changed the, uh, the receipt of old age security benefits. It will go at, at age 67 rather than 65 uh, if you're a certain young age. So I think the government is expecting people to work longer. Uh, the point is, if, if it's not a tragedy if you, if you like your, your job. I'd say that if you're in an old-time job where it was a very physical thing, very demanding on your, uh, your, your uh, body, uh, that was what traditional retirement at age 65 was designed for. Most of us these days are knowledge workers, and if you find a pleasant uh, line of work, like journalism or blogging or whatever, uh, I don't think there's anything tragic about working at 66 or 67. If anything, I think a lot of people will find themselves choosing to work in, in well into their 70s. Could you see maybe even the retirement age being pushed back, extended to 67, 68, even 70? Oh, I think the government would love that. I mean, we've already seen that with OES in the United States and other countries. It's been pushed back a couple of years. Uh, if you're going to live, let's say we're all going to live 10 longer years than we thought, seven of which would be in good health. Uh, remember, every year you, you keep working is, is doubly good. Uh, a, a you, uh, you're, you're building your nest egg more, and B, you have that, that many fewer years that your nest egg has to last. We used to think at one point, it was when Bismarck had invented retirement at age 65, people actually died on average at age 63. They didn't have to worry about it. These days, it used to be, it'd be 15 years or so. Now you can expect it's being bumped up to 20, 25 years. I mean, financial planning would be really easy if we knew exactly when we were going to die. Unfortunately, we don't. That's why we have to have these surveys to kind of give people a, a reality check. Yeah, a little bit of a heads up time to start uh, doing something about it. Jonathan Chevro joining us. Thanks for joining us tonight. My pleasure. More than 20 years after his death, a new story by iconic children.